Hello everybody, God bless you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Jake. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, Marcus Rogers here. You know, we all know that Donald Trump just won the 2024 election and the false prophets are cashing in now to claim that they prophesied it. And the reason why they do this is because they desperately want to convince you that they are a prophet. You know, there's no reason for these people to come on here and go, guys, guys, I'm a prophet. Seriously, I'm a prophet. They want you to believe they are a prophet because they're in it for themselves. They're in it to make a name for themselves. Um, they'll say glory to God, which that's true, glory to God. But in reality, they're actually trying to draw glory to themselves. And that's why they want to convince you so desperately that they are a prophet. Now, the issue with Marcus Rogers is that his original prophecy about Donald Trump winning president was for the 2020 election. He said that God told him that Donald Trump would win the election in 2020. But because it did not come to pass, Marcus Rogers had to change the date of when Donald Trump would win the election. When, Don when Marcus Rogers found out that Donald Trump would be running in the 2024 election, he changed his prophecy that it was 2024 when Donald Trump would win the election. Now, keep in mind, back at the time, he said 2020. This is what false prophets do. When they miss something, they change or they alter their prophecy. Um, the, you see this very common with false prophets. You know, they give you a specific prophecy. It doesn't come to pass, therefore they start making alter, uh, alterations to it. They start trying to figure out a way that they can convince you that they still got it right, even though they clearly did not. Um, so here's, I wish I had my cell phone charged so I could show it on the little screen, but unfortunately that's not going to happen. So we're going to be looking at it on my laptop. Here is a proud Marcus Rogers in a uh, president suit here. What's going on, everybody? Let me know where you're watching from. Woo! Hallelujah! Dude, Jesus! Oh, man, I am fired up right now. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. I cried some tears. I've been on and on for the last couple of years and definitely the last couple of days. Now, for all of the people that are going to come on here and start arguing. Hold your horses. We're going to address it. We're going to pull some receipts. Let me tell you something, man. I, I was on my prayer walk the other day just bawling my eyes out. And, and as I was walking, I just felt the Father telling me, Son, I'm going to vindicate you. And so for the last couple of years, you know what I'm saying, uh, I, I, I've, it hurt. It hurt how some people did me. It hurt how the church did me. And I'm going to show you all some stuff that I recorded, that, that God was putting on my heart. We're going to pull some old tapes. But first of all, hey, congratulations, President Trump. I want to salute the body of Christ because guess what? <clears throat> this time, we did it right. So, um, I don't have time to play this whole video. You can go watch this on his YouTube channel. But basically what he's going to do is he's going to try to play that he is the victim in all of this. You see that he said the Father God told him, I'm going to vindicate you from the way that the church has did you. What did the church do to him? He made a false prophecy and they held him accountable just like Jesus told us to do. They didn't do anything wrong. But he's going to play the victim in all this, you know, that God gave him a prophecy and... Uh, you know, he misunderstood it or something like that. This is what a lot of prophets, prophets do. They go back to their prophecy and say, I misunderstood. What it really meant was this. And you see, the reason they do that is because, and I hope and pray to God that you can see this. The reason they do that is because they're trying desperately to win back the public. This has nothing to do with whether or not their prophecy was accurate. Their whole purpose of doing this is to try to win back their audience, is to try to convince everybody, see guys, I was a prophet all along. You guys owe me an apology. Well, no, because the truth is you said Donald Trump would win 2020 and he didn't. We don't owe you an apology. You were wrong. You ain't no prophet. God bless.